So I decided that today I'm gonna be packing with you guys. Um, I did do a video where I did a pack with me to Disneyland. Um, so I kind of picked out my outfits, but I decided that it would be really cool if I could just kind of show you guys the stuff I have and just put them in my bag for today. I'm gonna be leaving to Disneyland and we're gonna be leaving on Thursday, I believe. Um, so that's today is October 4th, if you guys are wondering. So we are leaving pretty soon. That's in what today's a Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So we're leaving in about like two, three days depending on how you count. But I'm literally so, so excited. Um, I'm gonna be putting stuff in this bag like here that I showed you guys earlier in the other video. I have all my outfits. I'm gonna fold them and put them inside. Of course I need to get like basic stuff like my PJs and just a bunch of other general stuff you use to go on trips. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is the outfit I'm gonna wear. Let's, actually, let's go with the first outfit. This is the outfit I'm gonna be wearing for the first date. It's gonna be for Disneyland. Um, I wanna get some ears from like um, from Disneyland, the little mini ears. I saw like I saw them all over Pinterest. Like a lot of girls had them. They made a lot of really cute outfits, so I wanna get those ones. So I'm putting them in here like that. I wanna get those mini ears because I think they're so cute and they're, um, I actually have gotten mini ears a long time ago, but they were the really sparkly ones and I don't really like those. Um, but I'm really excited about getting these other ones. They're like a little bit more of like a softer, puffier material, which I'm really, really excited about. Let's put in the other shirt. Whenever I like pack for anything, um, for any trip, I usually like to keep the outfits together. So I'm doing that. I'm gonna put the socks together like that and then put them inside. And then, let's see, this is gonna be the second day outfit. So this is gonna be for California Adventure. Um, if you guys haven't checked out the video where I packed for Disneyland, then um, please check out that video. If you guys have not, I go more in depth with the outfits. But here, I'm just kind of putting them inside the little um, mini bag here. I might put that over here, actually. So that's gonna be the, um, yeah, the outfit for um, California Adventure. And I'm really, really excited. It definitely reminds me of like not really not really Disney Sea, but they have like the Little Mermaid ride there, and I don't know, it's the closest thing to Disney Sea that I have over here. So I'm holding them like this. But let me know if you guys are Disney fans. Have you guys gone to Disney this year? Have you guys gone to Disney World? I went to Disney World last year, and um, oh, sorry if you guys can hear my dog. <laughs> my dog barks a lot. Um, he's with my twin sister right now. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's put this bow together. I'm actually using the same bow, this actual bow for the, um, with the Seifuku outfit. I'm gonna be using the same bow for the, um, first outfit for Disneyland, the one that's supposed to be like Minnie Mouse inspired. So I'm gonna wrap that up and put that right here. But yeah, I'm honestly so excited. My mom's really happy about, um, her Disney trip. Um, we're getting a couple of final items. And then here I have this sort of like little ribbon I'm using as like a bow. Oh, and here is, this is like the little um, hook. You put this on the sides and then it becomes like that side back. So I prefer it like that. And then I'm just going to um, tuck this into the bag. Um, I still have to get other stuff. So I'm probably gonna get like, like if I get any socks, like general socks for my PJs or whatever, anything, I could just fit it in here and I'll have more room. So there, and then of course I'm taking my Duffy ears going in here so this is my little suitcase I am by no means done with packing I still like I told you guys earlier I need other basic things but like I said for now let's just put a couple items I am leaving this Thursday today's Monday so I'm leaving in like two days we're gonna leave more on like the afternoon um, so I want to make sure that I'm packed before then I do want to show you guys I have a cute dress that's very like witchy inspired it's kind of like a Lolita dress and it has like purples and it's black and I feel like I might insert an image of like the picture right here of the dress. So I decided today because it's gonna be sort of like Halloween inspired video. I also want to get ready so I can do a video for you guys and I wanna to talk to you guys about some of my favorite animes to watch um, during the Halloween time. Um, I always rewatch them like every year during like the holidays, during Halloween um, to get into that spooky vibe. Oh so, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'll see you guys in a little bit once I'm ready with my makeup and my cute dress. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit.
guys, I'm Konnichiwa, that's you, Abides. Hey guys, it's Akawai Twin, and I told you guys earlier I was gonna get ready, so this is the Lolita dress I was talking to you guys about. This actually belongs to my younger sister. She got this quite a while back, um, so I decided that it would work really well for today's video because I want it to be very Halloween-y. This definitely reminds me of kind of like a witch outfit, but as I was telling you guys earlier, I'm gonna be telling you guys my top five favorite anime to watch for, for Halloween time. There is like certain anime that I watch all the time, and I felt like it'd be really fun to give you guys some recommendations if you guys have never heard of them. You guys wanna get into the Halloween spirit and watch anime. So let's start off with the first one, uh, which is honestly my absolute favorite anime to watch during Halloween time. I watch it every single year with my, my twin sister and my younger sister. We absolutely love this anime and we watch it all the time during October time, uh, the spooky season. We will rewatch it every year. And that is Sugar Sugar Room. You guys may or may not have heard of that anime, but it is a magical girl type of anime, uh, which is really, really cute. And I feel like it really worked for today's theme of the Halloween sort of theme because they are witches. So the plot focuses on two main characters, Chokora and Vanida. I would say the main character, like the main main protagonist of the enemy is Chokora. Um, but anywho, so the story kind of follows of these two young girls. Um, they are from this sort of magical realm. They are a bunch of wizards and witches. And these two girls are best friends, but they are kind of competing against the throne to um, kind of rule this magical world. Now they are tasked to go into the human world where they're supposed to collect hearts. For example, if the girls are able to have a guy like them, really like them, the hearts will kind of dictate that. So I think there's like different shades of hearts. There's like a yellow one, a green one, and a pink one. But I'll probably put like an image right here of like the different types of hearts and what they symbolize. And um, the heart that they want is the one that says like really, really like. I think in Japanese it would be like daisuki. So there's skeet and daisuki. Skeet is like like, but daisuki is like like a lot. Um, and then aishiteru would be like I love. I'm not sure they have one for that one, but there is one that's like a strong like. But because Chogura is supposed to be more of a tomboy, she apparently she doesn't get like a lot of guys liking her. Guys mainly like the more cutesy type, which is Vanida, and she gets a lot of hearts. And um, only these girls can see like the image. So if a guy sees the girl, um, you will be able to see that heart that pops up and only they can see it. And in a sense, they kind of collect that heart. Now there is a bit of a romance in this one between Chocola and another character. He is supposed to be um, a little bit older than Chocola and Vanida. He's supposed to be very handsome, um, very mysterious. Now apparently he's supposed to be the bad guy. He is part of the uh, bad magic realm um, and he collects bad hearts so whenever people have jealousy or hate towards someone he will collect those hearts and those hearts are typically um, black either it's black or really dark purple I'm not sure I believe it's black um, and he collects that and just gets stronger so um, there is a romance between Chocola and this guy from part of the kind of magical realm that is like really bad or more of like the dark um, type of magical realm so there's kind of like the good and the bad and how they're attracted to each other so it's a really interesting story to see that uh, but it's still really really cute that it's very very colorful the colors are very bright so if you guys want to watch a kind of a Halloween themed anime but that's still very cutesy then definitely check that one out it's honestly my absolute favorite one you guys will not regret it the next anime is a vampire night now you guys may or may not have heard of this anime but I felt like it really worked for today's theme as well because it talks about vampires it says in the name it's a vampire type of anime now this one is also like a romance type of anime the theme of this anime is very like it has very dark colors um, I think it's really really cool it has a really cool aesthetic it's kind of set in like Europe or it seems like it's Europe that the kind of town that you see it's really really cool uh, has more of a serious tone to it um, but still can be a little bit funny has a little bit of um, bits of comedy but I feel like it's really really cool if you guys are also interested in the romance type of anime then you guys will love this anime so story follows this young girl named Yuki and she's in high school and she was a lot younger um, she was attacked by a vampire she almost got killed but she was able to be saved her parents actually saved her they kind of risked their lives and they ended up dying in her place she ends up being adopted and taken care of by some other man and he really cares about her sees her as a real daughter of his own daughter um, and um, Yuki sees him as her like real father um, she doesn't see much of a difference and um, she ends up growing up um, he also ends up adopting another kid who is his name is Zero um, and he his parents actually also died um, during a vampire attack his twin brother and his parents died as well um, and they were said to be some of the best um, vampire hunters so that's kind of in his lineage he's um, comes from that and they're really good at killing vampires Empires, and so that's kind of his sad story but they kind of grow up together and he's actually in love with her he doesn't see her as um, a biological sister or anything like that there's no sisterly thing there because um, they are not related at all now their stepfather apparently was one of the best vampire hunters but he just hated the bloodshed and he wanted to um, have humans and vampires kind of coexist and kind of have like a good um, relationship um, so he ended up creating this um, institute this academy where um, 
vampires and humans can both kind of um, go to school there. Now there is a day class and a night class. The day class is for human students um, and then the night class is for vampires because vampires in the school day they, they sleep during the day and they are wide awake during the night time. So um, you see that there are different types of costumes for the night class they wear white and for the uh, day class they wear um, a black uniform which is really really cool. Um, I actually did a video with fashion lookbook of this um, anime um, and some of the outfits I kind of tried recreating so if you guys are curious um, about the anime. If you guys love that anime, then go ahead and check out that lookbook um, because I absolutely love that anime, so I had to do a fashion lookbook. Yuki is actually in love with one of the um, night class um, students. His name is Kaname. So it's sort of like a love triangle between um, Kaname, Yuki, and Zero. Kaname is supposed to be one of the best vampires ever. He is supposed to be a really, really strong vampire, um, and you can see how he's in love with Yuki, and she's in love with him, but she hasn't told him that. So there's a lot of mystery involved in there, a lot of story that I'm not going to go in depth with because I want you guys to watch it. I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but it's really, really good. Uh, the vibe of it, the music is amazing. Definitely gives me very Halloween-y vibes. And I don't know, I just absolutely love it if you guys are looking for a good anime to watch during the Halloween time and you guys are also fans of Twilight. I know some people don't like Twilight, but if you do, you might like this one as well because there is that kind of love triangle between the human and the vampire. And um, yeah, so, so definitely check it out. It's one of my absolute favorite animes to watch. Now, the next anime is Inuboku Secret Service. Now, um, this anime isn't, I guess, your typical Halloween type of anime but I felt like this would work really well for this category. It is one of my absolute favorite animes and I also did do a fashion lookbook on it. I'll be leaving a link to it somewhere up here so you guys can go ahead and click on that video. But this anime follows this young girl named Rubicio and it follows how she has just moved into this new apartment complex that was just built and it's supposed to be built for like very wealthy, rich, the elite um, people um, in Japan and she ends up you know going to this apartment. Um, she's only 16, she's very young but she wanted to have her own independence and you sort of get to see her experience now. She she isn't just a normal girl. Um, none of the residents at this apartment complex are. Um, they are descendants of yokais. So I felt like it would work really well for this kind of um, Halloween vibe because um, they are descendants of like yokai and yokai are seen kind of like as monsters so I feel like it worked really well for this sort of Halloween um, list. Um, so yeah, it follows this young girl. Um, each of the people who live in the um, estate who live in the apartment complex, they all have a bodyguard and this bodyguard is also a yokai, half yokai, half human. Um, so you get to see how she was bullied throughout her childhood um, because people didn't understand her. She was very shy. You get to see how she's opening up to other people, to other members and she really creates a family with everyone that lives in the apartment complex. There is a romance between Mika Tsukami and her, Ryuichi Osama. Uh, Mika Tsukami is her um, secret service agent or her um, bodyguard who protects her, but he also really cares about her and he's in love with her as well. So it's also really cute romance there as well. And um, I felt like it worked really well for this sort of Halloween list because they are yokai. So you do get to see them transform. I believe the character Rewomiya, which um, is another character in the anime, she transforms into this sort of like really big skeleton. So it does have a bit of like monsters that show up in there. So if you guys are looking for a not so scary anime that um, has some sort of monsters and gives you a little bit of that Halloween vibe but isn't too scary, it's more like mellow, then definitely check out this anime. It's definitely for you. Uh, I'll be leaving a link to all the trailers of all the animes I'm going to mention in the description box below so you guys can go ahead and check them out. If you guys want to get a more in-depth view of what this anime is about, then definitely check that out. Now let's go on to the next anime and this one is a little bit more um, scary, not scary, but it has more of an ominous, more like scary sort of vibe to it. Um, so this anime is called Dusk Maiden of Amnesia um, and it follows this young guy who has just entered high school. I believe it's high school. Um, I'm not sure if it's middle school. It's been a while since I've watched this anime but it's really really good. I definitely want to rewatch it this year because it does have a bit of that spooky vibe to it. So this one focuses on ghosts. It follows this young guy and, and he ends up meeting this young girl and um, at first he thinks she's an actual student there but he ends up finding out that he's the only one who can see her and um, long and behold he finds out that she is a ghost. Now there is this legend at the school that there is this um, evil spirit, evil ghost that has been sighted around the school that is um, an evil entity and initially he's kind of worried that maybe this ghost that he saw um, is that evil entity, that evil ghost but he ends up finding out that it's not um, and throughout this series he kind of ends up helping her out because she's trying to kind of see the light or go to the other side um, maybe go to heaven um, but she cannot, she's kind of stuck in that school so um, he ends up helping her out she's lost all her memories so she has no idea how she died or why she can't move on so the entire anime just kind of focuses on that, how he's helping her out but 
this year she also ends up falling in love with her which is a really nice little twist to it as well the entire vibe of the anime is very um sort of dark the colors aren't very vibrant or colorful as sugar sugar rune um so i feel like this definitely really um is a really good anime to watch during the halloween time because it's very that kind of dark scary vibes to it um but that cute romance definitely adds that little light aspect to it so that very um happy go lucky little vibe to it but it's definitely a really good anime to watch you do see that kind of like dark entity that like um ghost thing um, that shows up that's a little creepy sometimes so i feel like that's going to be really cool to get you guys a little scare for the halloween time and it is a bit of a mystery because um you just like the young girl are trying to figure out like how did she die what happened um so it's really really interesting and once you find out it's also really really um really interesting so there's a lot of the little plot twists in there and you kind of get to figure out that kind of secret so it has a mystery vibe to it and the ghost um as well so i feel like it's a really good anime to check out for the halloween time and of course the added bonus of the little romance so if you guys are interested in romance animes then definitely check this one out it's a really good one now the next anime i'm going to talk to you guys about is an anime called amnesia now this anime is um honestly one of my favorite animes i watched it back when i was 15 so this was quite a while back but it's still one of my absolute favorite animes i believe this anime is kind of considered reverse harem although not exactly um but it's really really interesting without this one doesn't really follow your typical um halloween type of shows or animes it doesn't revolve around any like monsters ghosts um zombies vampires things like that like i mentioned to you guys in the other animes this one is a little bit different i feel like this one has more of a mysterious element to it it's a little bit more like a little psychological i guess so it follows this young girl who every single day things change so she is um her reality has altered and it has changed so what's really cool about this anime is that every single day as days pass um her reality completely changes i believe the first episode shows where she is working at a coffee shop um and she is really just um confused as to where she is that's why it's called amnesia because she's gotten amnesia she doesn't remember anything she doesn't remember anyone um but all the people around her seem to know her and they ask her hey are you doing okay all these her co-workers and they seem to know her but she has no idea who they are which is really really interesting you are just as lost as the main character and there is a bit of that mystery element where you need to figure out what's going on now what's really cool about this anime is because when i initially watched it i thought it was just a young girl who just kind of just forgotten everything and has no idea what would happen um, she doesn't really know why she's forgotten anything you know everything is unfamiliar to her and you think okay and so it sets up the story um one specific way with different friends who've known her for a long time her co-workers she knows them she kind of throughout the entire day she kind of gets to get a little more familiarized with her surroundings to the way that things were you know these are her friends these are some guy friends these are some co-workers um these are her family things like that and so by the end of that first episode she's like okay i'm getting the hang of the way things are i'm a little bit confused but you know i'll figure it out but um throughout the entire day she just gets to know all these people who apparently know her um they say hey are you okay are you doing all right um and she's just trying to kind of familiarize herself with her surroundings where she's at so she ends up going home where she thinks is home she doesn't really know um and um by the end of that episode she thinks okay everything is all right well the next day she is everything completely changes i mean what she thought was her house her friends everything just changes and what's really interesting is that because this is a uh, reverse harem anime um her her love interest who her boyfriend was supposed to be always changes so changes the setting totally changes so one day she'll be with the um blue guy and he'll be her boyfriend and they had a whole story together a whole history um that she does not remember and then the next day passes she wakes up and then all of a sudden um he's just her that blue guy was just her friend and the green guy was her boyfriend for the longest time and they have a whole past together and it's really really interesting everything just keeps is very interchangeable um what she thought she knew of that day it totally changes and so um it's really really interesting that's where the whole reverse harem um happens um all these guys apparently uh dated her and they have a whole past with each other and she's just so confused which is really interesting because you get to sort of see you're also just as confused as to what happened now there is that added element where this guy he's um this one guy who keeps following her he's a very constant character and in every alternate reality which is practically what's been going on um, her reality is always changing it's like there's different branches of her life like she had different types of lives you know with different people around it and different past histories you know different things that happened in her childhood in each different alternate reality which is really really cool i felt like that had a very psychological element to it and there is that big mystery element because you are also just as confused as the character is they don't give you any insight or any extra scoop or any extra information of um the character you know um like certain shows do um you know this one you are practically feel like you're that character and you are figuring everything 
helping out along the way just as she is so I feel like this is a really really cool anime definitely check it out it's one of my favorite ones i am definitely planning on re-watching this one because it's so so good um it's really really a very good anime and if you guys are into reverse harem anime it's not fully reverse harem you guys will end up seeing what happens um so there definitely is a romance element to it as well so if you guys look, like those type of animes then you will definitely enjoy this one it has a very oh and also the um the guys the anime characters are very handsome and all the actually all the anime characters in this anime i'm talking to you guys about all the guys are very very handsome so so yeah, these are my anime recommendations of the day. These are my top five favorite anime to watch during the Halloween time. So yeah, let me know if you guys check them out. Let me know if you guys have seen any of these. Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts. Enough rambling for today. I'm gonna go ahead and change out of this, take off my makeup and watch Coraline, watch some cool YouTubers and eat some Charlotte cake. So let's go ahead and do that. Ikimashou.